Hi, Raleigh Brown here with Suki the dog in the background there. And um, a lot of times people uh, listen to my Sunday morning videos and then they'll send me a message on YouTube and say, uh, boy, can you send me a chart for that or, or teach me how to play it? And uh, usually the charts or tablature are no go, but I can teach you how to play a lot of these tunes. And uh, we do that by doing what we call a quick take lesson. A quick take lesson is a 10 to 15 minute video lesson that I will make for you personally tailored to exactly what you want to know and uh, and then I'll send that to you so that you can download it and actually own that video and have it on your computer forever and ever and ever okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you a short example of a quick take lesson and I thought I would just normally somebody might ask for a whole tune or they might ask me to explain a whole concept, you know, how do chords move in a certain way or, uh, or what kind of inversions would you use for something. But uh, what I'm going to do here, since uh, I'm not going to make this very long, is I'm going to take one lick and show it to you. And there's, there's a lick that shows up a lot of times um, in the playing of my uh, late friend Steve Mann um, that sounds something like this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is just do a little short deconstruction of that lick for you here. It'll probably take a couple minutes, but then if you were to ask for a whole song, it would be a 10 to 15 minute video usually. Here we go. Okay, so this lick we're going to do is based on an A7 chord, and the A7 chord we're going to use is opened E and A strings, and then 5, 6, 5, 5 kind of like this big A or A7 and a lot of times you can play that little hammer on it but the lick itself is going to go like this and it's, I can't always play it uh, uh, perfectly cleanly without warming up more but that's what you get right now I'm going to slow it way down for you it's all blues scale notes it's the flat third the roots that's 8-5 and then 8-8, eight, eight, which is the flat 7 and the flat 5, and then um, the 4 and the flat 3rd, and then you have the root note. Okay, and the way we play it with the right hand, we're going to learn this technique, a physical technique. Your index finger plays the B string, and then your middle finger brushes across E, B, G. sounds like this. So you have to practice that for a long time. It might actually take weeks. And get it speeded up. And then when we actually play this lick, this is a complicated uh, fingering. You're going to play... So you can play this, and then you're going to get your... Basically, even though this is the bass chord, you're just going to bar here and it's going to go and then you flatten out your little finger on the 8th fret and then pull off and this so it goes and so we start with this high note and then you play the lick and it might sound like this in a tune Okay, so you have to slow it way down. And then if you get this part going fast, then you'll eventually get... There you have it, a little lick from the playing of Steve Mann. You can go to Raleigh Guitar, R O L L Y G U I T A R, dot WordPress dot com, and then click on the link for Quick Takes. And uh, there you can just hit the, um, the button and buy the lesson. You can send me an email at Raleigh at RaleighBrown dot com in advance and tell me what you want to learn, and I'll tell you whether it's useful uh, to take a lesson with me.
Okay? Hope you find this interesting and maybe you at least learned one little lick from it. Take care. Bye-bye.